Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Russian Fishing 4 on Winding Rivulet. Where we've been trying our hand at spin fishing, it has been going the greatest so far. We've gotten a couple of fish, but I feel like there's something key I'm missing for, like, trying to get better with this. So, I'm going to try and see if maybe I do a... I let the line or the tackle... Nope. There we go. I was going to let the line and tackle sit a little bit longer before I start reeling in. Maybe the problem is I should be trying to pull the line instead of along the surface of the water. I should be trying to pull it up through, like, well, like this. And I forget, I also have to, like, pump the rod to reel them in. But already, we've gotten a good start. We actually got a fish to start us. And looks like with if we can land one more, we'll be up to level 8. So we'll get some new, or we'll get a gift of some kind to help us. Okay, let's try now. See if anything hits this time as well. I don't know if maybe the time of day was also one of the factors impacting us, because we... We are basically doing a lot of night fishing, and we weren't having much results there, so... Maybe we just need brighter daylight, and we'll have some of the fish more eager to strike. Or not at all, because I can see our tackle right there with nobody interested. But yeah, it's all going to be a lot of trial and error. So it might just be, instead of like how Call of the Wild the Angler kind of felt almost like guaranteed every time your line was in the water, you'll have cases like this where you just have to keep casting and trying and you don't know if anything will strike or not. I still don't know if the best thing would be to just like keep constantly reeling in or I should reel for a while, let it sit and sink, reel again. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of uh, comments coming in with help, with help for the spin fishing, because the series has had a lot of knowledgeable, knowledgeable people always leaving a lot of good tips and advice and info for new players and myself to try it out. Well, I am a new player myself, but I'm a new, new player. Let's put it that way. So yeah, we'll just keep letting this go and see if we can manage to land a few other fish. And we're going to keep whatever the cafe orders are as a surprise, just to see if we might get stupidly lucky and actually get one or two we can complete. I kind of doubt it with how it's going so far, but you never know. Like, I don't know if I should be trying to make the thing more appealing and, like, pump the line or that. It just kind of does feel like I'm missing a certain aspect that I just can't quite narrow down what that is. I guess I could also try moving location as well. Because there is... Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, rivulet to work off of. Like, let me try around... Oh, well, I didn't even know there was another little pier here, but let me try off of here and see. Like, maybe it is that Mosquito Lake just has a lot more fish more active on it because it's your very first spot. And it's just about trying to, like, figure out where... Oh, that could well be it. You just have to try to figure out where the fish are and be ready to move towards them. Or move to find them. I think it's another perch. Yeah, another perch. That's a nice one to find still. Far better than nothing. Come on in, you. Okay, and let's try bringing it in. We got nice and lucky with our first cast over here. Fish right on. 
Now might be the only thing we'll see for a little while. Although there are some reeds in that, so maybe I should try casting more so that way it's like coming in towards those. Like, I don't want to try casting directly in them because that will probably lose our tackle and we'll have to buy some new stuff. Although, I wonder if I should stop by administration and pick up, like, the spinning tackle that's on offer. I don't know if it would be different than wine or than Mosquito Lakes, or be the same. Oh. Looks like another perch, and looks like a bit of a fair size one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and new level. What'd we get? Ooh, spin shot. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll try giving that a try. Actually, let me see if I... I don't know if that'll do anything or not, but we'll give it a go. I think with the bright red and gold, that might be a little easier for fish to see, so who knows if it'll perform or not. Ooh. Oh, wasn't hooked on very good, but we did have interest right here by the, uh, the pier. So let me try that again and see if bringing it in, we could get them. I don't know if it'll stay around the same area, but at least it was promising to see another species on. Nope. That might have been somebody trying at it. There was a little bit of tension for a moment there. Now let me try casting again. I think we've got something interesting just over here. I don't know if it's a pike or an ass, but it looked like it was like one of those more slender, uh, longer bodies. Yeah, there's somebody on. Well, looks like it's another small perch, I think. Yeah. Come on in, you. I'll still take it. We can always sell it for the little bit it does go for. Now, let's see if we get any luck with it being a little closer to uh, the plants there. Oh, another perch. Well, I hope they have a lot of orders for perch, because we've got a fair stock of them now. Maybe it does entirely come down to the spinner bait is your big... Well, actually, that makes sense. The spinner bait entirely determines, like, the species you're going to... Or, well, not species, but if fish will strike or not. Yeah, we got something again. Uh, not a perch. I think this is an asp. No, a chub. Ourselves a little chub. Okay. I'm going to move a little bit more down along and keep going for a few more minutes. Let's see what else we might be able to get. Cast it on out. Yeah, let's start re Ooh. start reeling in now and see. See if maybe for spin fishing it's better to change positions a lot more often than float fish. Ooh. Uh, looks like another perch, but again, it's not bad just to be landing fish at all. Come on in, you. Yeah. Uh, let me try maybe over this way. If it comes in, maybe it'll come in pretty close to the little stalks there. Oh, 
There's a little flick down of interest. Oh. Yeah, see, it's almost like something is trying and striking it. But it's not given hard enough to get hooked on. And I don't know if I should be, like, leaving it to sit in the water when one of those does happen. Or I should try pumping the rod and, like, maybe set in the hook. Nobody decided to try on that one. Eh, we'll try one more cast out and I'll keep moving along. Yeah, I still feel like there is, it either is got to find the right spinner bait that really gets the attention of the area, or I've got to learn the methodology of, like, the best, like, retrieval for after it's cast out. Something's not quite lined up right. Or there's definitely area to improve with. Well, let me go a little further down and see. Nope, I'm in a tree. Or, well, a bush. Um... Might be worth it try casting through this stuff. We'll have to see how this will go. Because this feels like if you cast through, you would easily... Oh, I was going to say, I thought maybe I'd get snagged more easily, but no. I think we got pretty good with something lurking in there. Looks like another perch, though. Or maybe a chub. No, a perch. Ah, we'll still take. I just swear, like, try and cast something in here. This just feels like you're asking to get snagged. Nobody lurking in there for this one. Yeah, maybe I'll try a little bit more out into the open water. It does seem like our cast is more like a forward cone that's anywhere in that certain area you might throw it out to. Yeah, I'll try another couple casts and then I'll probably hike our way back and just check the orders. I don't want this... Oh, there we go. I don't want this episode to go on too long with, like, feeling like there is an aspect I don't have quite right. Because then it kind of makes it, like, I know how it can feel to be watching somebody doing something that you know, like, how it's supposed to be done, and there's just, like, a sort of backseat, like, oh, come on, it's so easy, just do this one thing. No, stop repeating the thing that you're doing wrong. So I don't want to put too many people through that. So again, we'll just try a few more casts, see what we can bring in. And then hike up and see if there are any orders we can complete. I really hope there's at least one for Perch, because we're getting so many of them. We kind of had the little flick of the rod tip for a while there, but 
Uh, now completely stopped. Let's just bring it in and see. Maybe try one more cast out. Nope. There we go. Okay, we got something. Probably another perch. Yeah, it looks like it. Although, this one looks like he's a little bit bigger than the others we've been getting. Come on in, you. Yeah, bit of a chonky one. I do like that as, like, the sizes change for, like, the fish individual species, you see the body change a little bit, too, because... I think if we even open up the keep net, you can see... Yeah, you can see, like, this one's a little bit more fat body than that one there. Same for that one to that one. There's a little bit of variation in the single type of fish as well. It's not like uh, Call of the Wild, the Angler, where it's just, like, increase or decrease the model size for what seemed like most species. This might be the last cast. Nope, and we did get something on it. Another perch. Well, we know what bait, or what our spinner... What spin tackle is letting us get that. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let me put that back. Yeah, hike my way back to uh, the village little area there. Again, I doubt we've got anything for any of the orders, but we can still try and see. No, oh, excuse me. It might just be that spin casting is really experimental and trying to figure out the best tackle setup for it. Alright, that's cafe there. Okay, what do you got on orders? Uh, thankfully we got this one, although that's the only thing we can really do. River mussels. I'm actually surprised that you might be able to catch those. Okay, well let's see. Right, so we want the smallest ones for it, so it looks like it'd be that one. That one, that one. Uh, I think 323 three and 331. Three, yeah, sell those. And we got nothing else for any of the orders, but at least we made back a profit. Well, actually, hopefully, we'll be a profit once we sell the rest in the fish market here. Yeah, we did make a profit this weekend, so that's always good to have happen. I am just going to see maybe about snagging. Yeah, get spare spinning tackle. I just want to see... Oh! Yeah, it... Well, I mean, the fishing line's the same, but we did get a different reel. And let me check for... Old USS... Or old spinner lure must have been the free one we picked up there. So we did get a little bit of something new to help us along. Well, let me just take a look and see here about, like, say, the lures. Ah, uh, spinners. Okay, so those are spinners. There's also spoons. There's also wobblers. Ooh, although they start a little pricey, don't they? Five forty for it for the single one of them, and they can go oh, eighty nine up for the most expensive. Yeah, not doing that. Uh, jerk baits. Oh, 24 for your lowest one there. Yeah, some of them are quite a bit more expensive, aren't they? I think we'll probably be sticking to spoons and spinners. Maybe spinners. Oh. Okay, maybe this will be something I'll save up for later. Because this is a nice, just like, multi-pack of quite a few things in it. It is 49, so it would take a bit. But at least I know that's something that exists. But I could, like, say, pick up... Actually, I guess I've got a few of these already, just because of the little pack sack icons. I'll just have to keep trying and experimenting a little bit, but again, I still feel like there's something... I don't have quite right. Oh! 
But maybe with some tips and tr or tips and stuff from you guys coming in after like this goes live, I'll get a better idea. Accessories, cobras. What is? I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be for. Like a cobra tube. Slingshot. You can have slingshots? Okay, kind of odd. Ah, uh, landing net, I can see... I can see a couple of these being a thing. Like, maybe, well, I guess maybe binoculars if you really wanted, but... Yeah, I don't know what they mean by throwing stick. Oh. You throw and go pick it up, I guess? Or is this like... You know... On Steam, I think there's a picture of Russian Fishing 4 where you almost have, like, a bear attacking you. Is that what these are meant for? It's like fighting something off. I have no idea, but... Yeah, we'll end this episode here. We got a little taste of spin fishing. Hopefully you guys can guide me a little bit better for what I need for it. And next weekend, we'll have a little bit better results from it. But thank you all for joining me on this episode of the series. On this episode of the series. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.